Today you will only need two materials. You will need aluminum foil, or some call it tin foil, and a pair of scissors. You want aluminum foil a little bit wider than the width of your hand. If you are a child, you can measure this by doing two hands width. When it's time to tear the aluminum foil, you'll want to be careful because we're going to tear along this sharp edge. It will help us cut it, but it could also cut your finger if you get too close. When I tear the tin foil, I do want to tear close to the edge, but I'm going to make sure that I'm a couple fingers width away from that sharp edge. And I'm going to tear a little bit at a time. If you're too nervous to tear, you could also use a pair of scissors to cut the aluminum foil. Or you can ask an adult for help. Now I'm going to turn the tin foil on its side nice and long like a hot dog. And then I'm going to cut about three fingers width at a time. See, notice that each of these strips is about three fingers width wide. And I want to kind of keep them about all the same size. You will need a total of five strips of aluminum foil. Four for each side of the spider's legs and one for the pedipalps in the front, which look like the spider's pinchers. Now let's make the legs. With one hand you'll twist and with the other hand you'll scrunch. See here how I'm scrunching and pressing down and the other hand is twisting. Be careful that you don't twist too hard or the spider's leg might break. Oops, I accidentally twisted too hard and my tin foil broke. But that's okay, this is perfectly fixable. If this happens to you, simply cut off a strip that's a little bit longer than the piece that fell off, overlap it by about a finger width, and then scrunch and twist just like you did with the rest of the leg. See, easy fix. Now we're going to move on to creating the head and the thorax. Did you know that spiders are not insects? They're arachnids. One of the things that makes them look different is instead of having a head, a thorax, and an abdomen like an insect would, they have a head and a thorax. They also have eight legs as opposed to an insect which only has three. Finally, did you know that spiders not only have eight legs, but they ha also have eight eyes? For the next step, you will need a sheet of aluminum foil about the size of your hand. Then cut that in half and take one of the sheets and roll it into a ball. We're going to use this for the largest part of the spider's body known as the thorax. Now take the thorax that you made and the extra aluminum foil and wrap the aluminum foil around the thorax. You're only going to wrap it up until about a third of the way. Then you're gonna fold the leftovers inward so that you almost have a flat tail. Give a little twist and now you have a thorax with a long flat piece of aluminum foil. Next, I need to make sure that my legs are all the same length. So what I'll do is I'll make them even along the bottom and then cut off the extra on top. Then I'll wrap all five pieces in that long strip of aluminum foil that I have. I'm making sure that as I roll, I'm wrapping those legs up nice and tight so that there's a nice secure band around them. 
Now we need to go ahead and trim the pinchers in the front. Remember, their official scientific name is called pedipalps. They're often curved, so you'll want to bend them over your pinky. If you feel like any of the legs should be a little bit longer, you can always add another piece of tin foil to extend them. Just remember to overlap with the other leg by about a finger width, pinch and twist. Through some experimentation, I learned that the positioning of the legs is one of the most important factors in getting your spider to look realistic. So let's talk about how to do that. Remember, the pedipalp should be curved forward and can even be curved inward a little bit if you'd like. Then the next thing you'll want to do is bend the two front legs forward. Next, you'll bend the hind legs or back legs back against the thorax. The two legs in the middle can be spread apart just a little bit. Then you'll flip your spider over on its back before bending the tips of the spider's legs up about the width of your thumb. Once you have curled all eight legs upward with the spider on its back, you'll flip it over. Next, we're going to bend ever so slightly where the spider's legs meet the thorax. And we want to bend those up a little bit. You should only bend the two legs in the middle like this. The front legs, we are actually going to bend the very ends inward a little bit. And we'll do the same to the back legs. And now you have an aluminum foil spider. Have fun making your spiders. <laughs>